Hello everybody, this is Megraj and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve the fifth part of question number 5, exercise 8.4. So let's see what, what the question is. So cos a minus sin a plus 1 upon cos a plus sin a minus 1 is equal to cos a k plus cot a. That's what we have to prove. So first of all we took the LHS and then what did we do? Look at this very carefully guys. What did we do? I divided each and every term by sin a in the numerator as well as denominator. Individually, I divided sin a to all the terms in the numerator and the denominator. Then what I did? I applied the trigonometric identities. That is the rule number 2. That is cos a upon sin a will be cot a. So cos a upon sin a will be cot a as it is. Sin a upon sin a will be 1. Sin a upon sin a will be 1. The respective signs are as it is. Then 1 upon sin a will be cos a k, 1 upon sin a will be cos a k, again the respective signs will be as it is. Now, what did I do? I just did commutativity in the numerator for cot a and cos a k, that is here. I took cot a and cos a k together, that's it, that's it. I didn't do anything else in this step. Denominator is exactly the same. In the numerator, I just use commutativity to take these two terms together. Now, I'm going to replace 1 by cos x square a minus cot square a. So that is our rule number 5. So rule number 5, what does it say? The rule number 5 is all about replacing 1 by sin square plus cos square or cos x square minus cot square or sec square minus tan square. So that is the rule number 5. So it is also vice versa. You can replace 1 by these things or you can replace these things by 1. So we come to the next step. In the next step, what did I do? I just took the minus sign inside to both the terms. So this will be the resulting expression. Now after this, what did I do? I just replaced cot square I took before and minus cos x square I took after. So after this, I can use a square minus b square identity. That is our rule number one. That is algebraic identities. Then I applied the algebraic identity a plus b, a minus b for a square minus b square. Rest of the expression is exactly as it is. Nothing has been changed. Now, you can see that cot a plus cosec a is common in both the thing, both these things. So, I took cot a plus cosec a outside. So, when I multiply cot a plus cosec a into 1, I'll get this expression. And when I multiply cot a plus cosec a into this, I'll get this whole expression right here. So I took cot a plus cos a k common here. So that is our rule number four to take common terms outside the bracket so that the expression can get simplified or cancelled. So that is our rule number four. So after this, you can observe that 1 plus cot a minus cos a k is here also. 1 plus cot a minus cos a k is here also. So in the numerator and denominator, these both will, these both bracket will get cancelled because they are in multiplication. So directly these both, both brackets will get cancelled and what remains is our RHS that is cot A plus cosec A. So LHS is equal to RHS and hence proved. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Thank you very much.